What up guys and welcome back to Thomas Reacts here on the 360 experience with myself Thomas Mabaso. It seems like the African National Congress is not happy with the Minister of Youth, the minister who is supposed to be in charge of young people in this country and making sure that the lives of young people in this country are transforming for the better. I'm talking about the Minister of Youth. I'm talking about Nkwasazana Zamini Zuma. Guys, before I even continue man, to, to talk about what I really wanted to talk about today, honestly, guys, Nkwasazana Zamini Zuma is a Minister of Youth in this country. Are we being honest right now? Are we being honest? You know, someone told me today, I learned that today and I couldn't believe it, man. I thought maybe these guys are lying to me. I thought that right now I've been lied to. Ngosasana Kamini Zuma is a minister of youth, man. I mean, guys, what is it that Ngosasana Kamini Zuma can tell us about the, 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 the artificial intelligence? What, what is it that Ngosasana Kamini Zuma can tell us about the, the metaverse? What is it that she can tell us about all the technological advances that have been made throughout the world? What is it that Ngosasana Kamini Zuma can do for the young people of this country, man? Honestly, guys, man, if you are an ANC member or if you be, if you if you love the African National Congress, please tell us as young people in this country what is it that Ngosazana Kamini Zuma can do for young people in this country, man? Can Ngosazana Kamini Zuma even relate to the challenges that are being faced by young people today? Honestly, guys, how old? I mean, like, I thought that I was being lied to. Because I'm being honest with you right now that I, I was told this thing today that Ngwasasana Kamini Zuma is a minister of youth. I was like, guys, you are lying to me, man. I'm telling you because you look at Ngwasasana Kamini Zuma, man, 74. I'm not being an ageist right now. But this lady is close to 100, man. This lady is close to 100. And Ramaphosa named her as a minister of youth. Guys, are we... Ramaphosa named this lady as a minister of youth. As a minister of young people. I mean, guys, the African National Congress is shameless, man. These guys, they have a youth league structure. What was so hard for Ramaphosa to pick one of those guys there at the ANC Youth League and name him the minister of, of, of youth? It would have made sense. But naming... An old Magogo, a 74-year-old Magogo as a minister of youth in this country. Man, like, ah, guys, please, man. <laughs> South Africa is alive with possibilities, man. Honestly, Ngwasasa Nakamini Zuma is a minister of youth, guys. I'm sorry, you're going to have to bear with me today. I can't sink like it can't sink in. It can't. Because you look at the like can Gwasasana Kamini Zuma even relate to the challenges that have been faced by young people in this country, man? What is it that Gwasasana Kamini Zuma can do for young people in this country, guys? Let's be honest, man. What is it that Gwasasana Kamini Zuma can do for young people in this country? Why is she even the minister of youth? What has she done? For young people in this country, what 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 has she done, man? Because she's a minister of youth. <laughs> the ANC is shameless, man. The ANC is shameless. I'm telling you, man. The ANC is shameless. <laughs> man. But then, it seems like the African National Congress is not happy with the fact that Nkwasa Zana Zuma didn't attend that shenanigan of theirs on Monday when they kicked out Busisu Mkwebani and, and, and removed her as a public protector. You remember that on Monday, the 11th of September 2023, the African National Congress basically voted with the DA to kick Busisu Mkwebani out as the public protector. But Nkwasa Zana Zuma didn't go there. And many people were not surprised. I was not surprised that Nkosa Zana Zuma didn't attend or participate in the whole thing because everybody knows what Nkosa Zana Zuma feels about Ramaphosa. Everybody knows that Nkosa Zana Zuma hates Ramaphosa, man. And she's not even shy. She's not even shy to tell people that, no, I don't like this guy. I'm not going to vote to this guy. I mean, like Nkosa Zana Zuma, she was the only person who was saying, guys, continue with the Palapala investigations. 
while everyone was protecting Ramaphosa and Zana Zuma, was the only person saying, you can go ahead with, with the Palapala investigations, man. So Ngosa Zana Zuma basically never hid her feelings for, for Ramaphosa. And I was not even surprised, like I said, that she was not going to go there and support Ramaphosa in removing public protector Mkwebani. I'm not even surprised, but the, 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 the chief whip of the African National Congress is not happy about Nkosa Zana Zuma, and she feels like the African National Congress needs to do something about that, man. She feels like the African National Congress right now, it needs to punish Nkosa Zana Zuma in any way. They cannot tolerate Nkosa Zana Zuma going against the president like this. Sounding like Isma Khashule? I feel like it sounds like an expression, man. Listen to what the the the, the ANC chief whip said, man. Her absence today was a shock to me. She has no apology. She has no permission to be absent. I can account about others. I know their whereabouts. I don't know the whereabouts of Mamangosa Zana Zamini Zuma. And as I usually do, I'm packaging the report to the Secretary General's office. It's high time that they act once and for all. It's enough now. You hear that, guys? <sighs> the chief whip of the African National Congress wants the ANC to do something about Ngosa Zana Zamini Zuma, man. They can't stand here right now. I feel like they want to get rid of her before 2024. Because that's what it sounds like. Because I'm like, what the hell is Premier Majordina talking about when she says that she's not she's surprised that Ngosa Zana Zamini Zuma didn't even participate in that man? Everybody knows everybody knows that Ngosa Zana Zamini Zuma was probably not, never gonna go there or vote with Ramaphosa. Everybody already knew that. Why is she even surprised that Ngosa Zana Zamini Zuma didn't attend? Ngosa Zana Zamini Zuma never hid her feelings for President Ramaphosa. Man, everybody knows. That Ngoza Zana Zamini Zuma hates Ramaphosa. Even Ramaphosa himself. He knows that Ngoza Zana Zamini Zuma hates, hates him. And she's not even hiding it. So I feel like right now they are, they, they're going to look for any excuse to, 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 to kick Ngoza Zana Zamini Zuma out of the African National Congress, man. Do you feel like the African National Congress right now, they want to, 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 to get rid of Ngoza Zana Zamini Zuma? Because she says that they are enough as a party there are enough of Nkosa Zana Zamini Zuma always going against the president. ANC Chief Whip Pemi Majodina is angry. She wants action to be taken against the Minister for Women, Youth and Persons with Disabilities. Nkosa Zana Zamini Zuma missed the parliament sitting where MPs voted to impeach the public... What? The Minister of what? Nkosa Zamini Zuma missed the parliament is angry she wants action to be taken against the minister for women youth and persons with disabilities Kosa Zana Zamini Zuma missed the parliament sitting where MPs voted to impeach the public protector now, but why are you giving Kosa Zana Zamini Zuma all those ministerial posts men even the minister of persons with disabilities men a 74 year old woman men guys are we being are we being real for now like are we being real you know, the ANC Youth League was talking about, yeah, we're going to remove these old people in parliament. We're going to push for the parliament to to, 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 to have 50% of, of, of young people. Man, like they are allowing the president to rename, to rename a 74-year-old woman as a minister of youth. How can, the African, how can the African National Congress Youth League structure, man, sit back and do nothing and say nothing? They're saying nothing, man, about the fact that this woman is a minister of youth, man. What does it say about them, man? They can't, they, like, they don't even have one person there who is capable enough to be a minister of youth. So are you telling me that the African National, the, 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 the ANC Youth League, they don't even have one person who's capable enough to, 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 to be the minister of youth? Nah, guys. And... And, 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 what are, and what are her responsibilities as a minister of youth, man? What are, what are Nkosa Zana Zamini Zuma's responsibilities as a minister of youth, man? What has she done? 
Now, last year, she broke ranks and voted in favor of an impeachment process against President Cyril Ramaphosa. Joining me now for more on this is ANC spokesperson Mathengi Ebengu Mutsiri. Thank you so much uh, for your time this morning. Let's take a look at the, the ANC policy. We, we know by now that it is pretty much standard practice that when voting takes place at the National Assembly, that it is done according to the party's stance and the party's standpoint. What happens then, Matlengi, if perhaps the party's standpoint differs from the standpoint of, of the individual? Let's say perhaps a, a clash in, in conscience, a clash in values at a particular time, and a, and a clash in views. How is that to be resolved? When the, when there are instances of uh, I mean, instances of a uh, clash in party values um, and that of the individual, remember every individual joins the ANC. Uh, to align with the collective values of the ANC. So the ANC takes a very dim view of anyone that goes outside of what we call the light of the party, because the ANC has got very robust mechanisms for debating issues internally. And we expect our members, regardless of their rank in the organization, to ventilate those within the organization but anyone that does something that is contrary to what has been agreed upon by the parliamentary caucus in this instance is something that is seriously frowned upon. On the case of uh, those that uh, have performed such acts, including Comrade Nkosazana Dlamini Zuma, these have been referred to the uh, Secretary General for further processing with the National Disciplinary Committee of the ANC. Now, this is not the first time uh, that Nkosa Zanat Lamini Zuma has voted contrary or against to what the party's standpoint was. A case in point is uh, the stand on the Palapala Pala report in, in Parliament. What were the repercussions for her then? Nothing. Well, at the, at, the, at the time, remember that the ANC was going through its own processes, setting up new structures, uh, um, and this is, of course... Um, heading up also to the 55th National Conference. Man, the, and the ANC always has excuses, man. The African National Congress, they always have excuses, man. I remember even last time when Fikilim Balula was doing an interview there at... Yeah, with the Sizwem Pofu Walsh. When Fikilim Balula was doing an interview with the Sizwem Pofu Walsh. And Sizwem Pofu Walsh was like, man, you have so many people who have been accused and so many people who, who who have allegations leveled against them as an executive what 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 have you done about some of these people in the executives that 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 have allegations leveled against them and feeling but was talking about the fact that no the anc we are still fixing the the hogs we are still making sure that our police structure they always have excuses man they always have excuses I'm not even surprised that this lady is giving us an excuse. They always have an excuse, man. For four years. Ramaphosa said that they, they, they were going to deal with the corruption. But now that Zondo said that, okay, these are the people that you should deal with, they're saying, no, we are still fixing the, 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 the hawks. We are still fixing... Like Shamila Batoi. Where is Shamila Batoi? We are still fixing the hawks. Till today. Like, it's been four years. The NC has been preaching about fixing the hawks. And, and the NPA for four years. Nothing has been done about people who have been accused of corruption in this country. And and, 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 and the reason for that, according to the, to the African National Congress uh, Secretary General, is the fact that the ANC is still fixing the hawks. The ANC is still fixing the, 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 the National Prosecuting Authority. Man. That's what these people are saying. <laughs> Once conference is uh, concluded, then we reset up all the constitutional organs of the ANC, including the National Disciplinary Committee. I can confirm with you that uh, that case you are referring to, her case and that of the others, um, are before the National Disciplinary Committee as we speak, having been sanctioned through an internal process. So the process now is going to be similar to that of the Palapala transgression, if one can call it that? Well, Yes, yes, yes. I mean, it's basically a follow-up, and it's also an additional issue that is going to be looked at by our NDC. And then the NDC, as it operates autonom autonomously, then reports back to the organization about actions 
that ought to be taken up in line with the ANC constitution. Kosa Zanatlamini Zuma is undoubtedly a very senior member of the African National Congress, and there have been calls for her to be disciplined. What is that discipline, quote unquote, exactly. going to look like? Well, it will be very preemptive of me to say what it would look like because the NTC then looks at various options and looks at the gravity of the matter. And of course, they've got to consider all manner of things. But I can say that uh, the chief whip um, in our parliamentary caucus had not received any apology from Comrade Ngosazan Atlamini Zuma. She's not going to apologize, man. She's not going to apologize. Ngosazan Atlamini Zuma will never apologize. To the African national, we will never do that. <laughs> I mean, like for the past two, three years, the way Nkosa Zanatlamini Zuma has been moving, it's almost as if she's made peace with the fact that soon enough the African National Congress is going to get rid of me. So I'm not going to beg to these people, just like Isma Khashule, man. Nkosa Zanatlamini Zuma has already made peace. With the fact that the African National Congress, they might kick me out. They might say whatever they want to say. I'm not going to stay and, and support this guy. Even though this guy gave her countless jobs, man. This, 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 this 74-year-old woman, man, is a minister of, of young people, the minister of people with disabilities, and the minister of what and what. But still, she can't support Ramaphosa, man. So why is Ramaphosa still giving her this post? Why is, why is Ramaphosa there? It's almost as if Ramaphosa is begging this woman to support him, man. But Ngosa Zanatlamini Zuma, the way she has been moving for the past two, three years, Ngosa Zanatlamini Zuma, she has made peace with the fact that the African National Congress might get rid of her. She doesn't care anymore. She's not going to apologize. That's what I can tell you. Ngosa Zanatlamini Zuma, she's not going to apologize. Man, Ngosa Zanatlamini Zuma wanted Ramaphosa to be investigated for Palapala. Ngosa Zanatlamini Zuma was there and supporting the motion to, to impeach the president. And Kosazana Zanatlamini didn't go to, to vote with the African National Congress to, to kick Busiso Kwebane out as the public protector. What makes you think that Nkosa Zanatlamini is going to apologize to African National Congress and particularly to, to President Ramaphosa? She's not going to do that. I'm telling you today. This is now in terms of the last instance, for example. Um, that is also frowned upon, especially where you have a three-line whip which is very important that positions or of, of caucus, which are positions of the ANC as an organization, carry when we go into the house. So, you know, this has got nothing to do with the person standing, history of service, discipline must be consistent across the organization, and it's going to be looked at in that same way, I believe. There are other members who did not make it to Parliament for that vote. And the Secretary General of the African National Congress had said the only reason why you should not be there or any acceptable reason is if indeed you are dead. So death is the only <laughs> thing that should prevent you from being uh, in Parliament on that day. And yet there are others who are not able to make it. What were the reasons given to the Chief Whip? Well, the Chief Whip has compiled a detailed report to the Secretary General, as I speak to you now and detailing all of those cases it is going to be the sgs um studying that report and making a determination um you know uh it, there, there could be so many other reasons and i mean i don't have the detail of the reasons regarding others but uh, all of those will receive the same treatment as i'm speaking to you just in terms of how we treat defiance uh, of party positions you mentioned defiance, and that's how the African National Congress sees the conduct of um, Kosa Zanatla Minizuma. Thanks. Have any of the other senior members of the African National Congress or even, you know, parliament cabinet ministers spoken to her regarding this in the interim? I, will, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. I think that uh, um, uh, Comrade Ngosa Zana would also obviously needs to be afforded an opportunity to express herself to the relevant bodies internally within the organization. And I wouldn't want to really be loath to, uh, you know, speculate, um, including about her own reasons for uh, not making herself available. What I do know, though, that anyone that just makes themselves unavailable when deployed by the ANC to serve our people in parliament and doesn't show up for...
sittings of parliament, even if it's not just about an important matter such as the one um, around uh, the matter of uh, advocate Wusisiwe uh, Mkwebana, as a rule of thumb, we expect all our members to honour their obligations when deployed in parliament or any other organ where they are deployed. Guys, one thing I can tell you is that the African National Congress they might forget about they might as well forget about the apologies the apology from Nkosazana Tamizuma. That that woman is not going to apologize. Man, but I'm still disappointed at Ramaphosa man appointing this woman as the minister of youth. Man, I'm like it's so hard for me. I'm finding it so hard for me to do like it it, it, it doesn't sink, man. It doesn't sink. I'm telling you, it doesn't sink. Nkosazana Tamizuma as a minister of youth man i'm telling you it doesn't sink so guys please tell me what you think in the comment section do you think that the african national congress wants to to, to do nkosa zanata minizuma the way they did julius malema the way they did is mahashule to me it sounds like the, the 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 chief whip of the african national congress wants the anc to deal with nkosa zanata minizuma decisively and the only way the ANC can deal with you decisively is, is, is if the ANC gets rid of you. So, guys, what are your thoughts on this whole thing? Do you think that Hamaposa is actually going to pull the trigger in getting Kosazana Tlaminizuma, get, getting rid of, 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 of Kosazana Tlaminizuma? Guys, please tell me what you think on the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like button. And the most important part, guys, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. My name is Thomas Mabaso, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, but guys, I still cannot believe that Ngosa Zanatla Zuma is a minister of youth. Ngosa Zanatla 74 years. No, guys, man. Nah.